All right, you guys, now I'm gonna demonstrate how this works. You're gonna need to have a check engine light. So, if that light is on, this is what you can use to check it. You can do it free at AutoZone or your automotive um, parts store. But this one costed 20 bucks and I would be able to use it a lot. So go ahead and get your keys, turn the car off, just put them in the ignition. And you're gonna wanna look underneath here. It'll always be somewhere right here. And this works for 96 and up. Anything older than 96 it will not work for. So go ahead and plug it in. You'll see that it came on. All right, so I'll go ahead and get the key. Turn it to the on. Don't start it, just turn it to the on. Now what you're gonna wanna do is press enter. And it's going to read it. Linking to vehicle. Two codes found. Okay. I believe that is the gas cap. Cylinder one misfire detected. So that's how you do that. And now, if you want to get more into it, you can view the freeze time. It tells you exactly when this code popped up in the computer. You can go through all this. 907 RPMs, zero miles per hour, so it's just idling. So yeah, you can get into all of this. And um, vehicle info. And you can erase the codes, which I'm going to do because I believe I fixed the problem. And once you erase them, you're good to go. You can turn off the car, unplug it, and now when I go to turn the car on, no check engine light. So we'll drive it. It's about 50 miles or so, depending on your vehicle, and it'll pop back up if anything is wrong. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new. I really appreciate it. These are very cheap at Walmart. 20 bucks. You can go and get this one. Works perfect. Thanks for watching.